Hi, I am Dr. Govind Babu. I am a medical oncologist from Bangalore. Uh, I would like to today share a little bit of my thoughts about breast cancer in India. Uh, for a long time, breast cancer was thought to be a disease of the Western society. But today we do know that it's increasing in proportions in our country as well. Mainly because we are having a lot of our lifestyle changes that are very akin to the West in terms of having increased number of calories, carbohydrates, low protein and a sedentary life which is leading to obesity. And today we know that obesity is by far one of the important causes for breast cancer and many other cancers as well. Also, the number of children that our Indian women are having today are very less as compared to the earlier women in India they were having. And the age at which they have the first child is also much later. And many of these women may not even have children. So we know today that uh, having lesser number of children, ch children at a later age is one of the risk factors for developing breast cancer. So all these changes are adding on to the increased burden and incidence of breast cancer in India. So we are seeing much younger women as compared to the West who are developing breast cancer today. Again, one of the important issues is that the awareness is pretty low in our country and that needs to be addressed to a large extent. There are a lot of newer things that have happened in breast cancer. Today we know that breast cancer is not just one disease. We know that there are several types of breast cancer that are there. This becomes very important today because each one of them needs to be treated in a different way. We know that in cancer, early stage is an important issue for having cures. So we need to detect these cancers early to have the best cures possible. But even in advanced stages, we know we can do a lot for our patients because we have drugs that are being developed because of the newer advances in diagnostics, imaging, and molecular biology, which has helped us to understand that there are different subtypes of breast cancer and each one of them probably can be treated with a specific drug. Just to give you an example, we have a type of breast cancer which expresses a receptor called HER2 and the overexpression of this is seen in about 25 to 30 percent of all breast cancers. This was considered a bad subset of breast cancer because People who overexpressed this died pretty early, developed early metastasis, and responded poorly to the conventional treatment that we have had. But somewhere down 1987, the receptor for this, the HER2 overexpression, was discovered. And understanding this, a drug called trastuzumab was developed, which has actually converted this bad subgroup of HER2 positive breast cancer into a good uh, subgroup. So now identifying this becomes very important because we have a specific drug and the outcome of these patients has dramatically improved. So this is one very good example to say how molecular biology has helped us to identify a subset of breast cancer patients and also helped us to develop a drug that would take care of these patients and lead to better outcomes in these people. So the same way there are many more newer drugs that are being developed because of the understanding of several other pathways in breast cancer and these are truly today called as designer drugs. So for the future, this holds a lot of promise. So that's what I would like to tell you through this. Thank you.